Hello world, what is up? Welcome to Build at Home. I'm your host, Matt Forte, and I'm coming to you from my home, as is, I believe, our next guest. Uh, before we get started, uh, as I'm sure you are all aware, because of the coronavirus, schools are closed nationwide, which means millions of children are losing the healthy meals they depend on every day. I believe, as of today, more than 438 million meals have been lost. Now, uh, because of this, we've been kicking off all of our talks recently, highlighting the work and efforts of NoKidHungry.org. No Kid Hungry has a plan to feed these kids, which is great, but we need your help. So head over to No kidhungry.org. If you happen to be someone in a position to give a little, uh, then consider No Kid Hungry as one of the places to give. They're doing some really important, awesome work over there. Uh, so let's get started with the show because I've got an incredible guest for you. Uh, he's a crazy talented singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, which means he plays multiple instruments. Uh, he's an actor. Uh, you, of course, know him and love him as Ricky on the Disney Plus original high school musical, The Musical, The Series. And today, as right today, you can check out the release of his new original song, Common Sense. Uh, wherever you may be right now, make some noise and go nuts and join me in welcoming back to the show the great Joshua Bassett. Joshua, how you doing, man? Yo, yo, how's it going, man? Uh, it's nice <laughs> to have you back on, dude. How are you holding up? How's uh, quarantine life treating you, dude? It's, um, I, I was really not thrilled about it at first, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm kind of enjoying the time to like really come back to myself and like, right. there's a lot of projects that I wanted to work on in my own time that I didn't really have time to do. So this is like, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of awful things happening in the world, but um, it, it is it is nice to kind of have time to like really recenter myself and and work on projects that I've just had in my back pocket for a while, including music. I have a whole setup, um, so it's it's nice to be able to just kind of you know stay inside all day and work on work on stuff. So That's pretty good. amazing, man. And we've got a new song dropping today. Have you found yourself writing a lot? I know uh, this new song is sort of the first of a, of a bigger thing to come down the road, talks of an EP or an album. Have, have you been writing new music and, and just really digging into that with the time that you have? Yeah, yeah, I've been writing new music. Um, I have a lot of songs kind of in my back pocket that I, that I haven't really fully right. um, done. Um, and so now I have the luxury of, of the time to like take what I already have and, and really kind of polish it up and, and get it to the place that it should be. So yeah, it's a little bit of writing um, new stuff, but also kind of uh, working on the stuff that I already have. Yeah. Um, Cause even like common sense, I recorded that like two and a half years ago and put it on my Instagram. Like it was just like, so that that's been in my back pocket for forever. Yeah, for yeah. So like finally getting it out. It's like, it's a yes to the world. It's new. But to me, it's like, I, I've had that there for, for forever. So, you know, getting, getting some of that old stuff out is, is uh, the goal. Yeah, I mean, and I'm excited to talk about uh, like the decision behind that song and why that one, because yeah, for sure you've been posting stuff for a while. You've been putting music up there. Uh, you know, one of the things though, before we get to that, that I've heard is super important right now uh, with with everything going on, is that while we're home, it's important to like find a rhythm and figure out a routine. Mine has been a mess. I'm staying up way too late. I'm playing a ton of Animal Crossing. I'm eating way too much. <laughs> I'm curious, have you found your routine yet? Have you figured out like what your day looks like right now? Yeah, yeah. I, I've had the same struggles. Like I really I, I'm just now really getting my um getting into my groove. Yeah. Um I I try I have to make a limit to no later than nine thirty AM. I can't sleep in later than nine thirty. And if so I set important. that rule, then I won't go to bed too late. And then it just kinda helps everything. But um I try to do some little like YouTube workouts, like fifteen minute hit routines and stuff. Nice. Um, I go on walks around the neighborhood all the time. And I, it's so funny seeing everyone else on walks because they're like yeah. nothing to do. Yeah. yeah. But everyone's so much nicer now. Like everyone's so like warm and welcome, except some people like cross the street when they see other people. It's like, I, I get that too. Like people being yeah. extra safe, but generally people crave connection. And so seeing other people is like, is, is great. But um, yeah, I mean, not really a typical routine, but I do try yeah. to get up by nine 30 and work out and just kind of get things going and start writing and, and um, you know, yeah, uh, just try to be as productive as I can because if not, I, exactly. I will literally go insane. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I think that's we're all just like, avoiding going insane right now. Yes, that's uh, the goal. Earlier this week, I saw uh, there was a performance on Nickelodeon's Town Hall. You like tweaked uh, Common Sense a little bit for that, which I thought was fun. And I think you're actually uh, later today you're performing on Instagram as part of Together at Home campaign. That's got to be an exciting thing to have to do, right? You looking forward Correct. to that? Correct. Yeah, it's it's really awesome to be able to be part of this. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very scary time for a lot of people. It's a very lonely time. It's a very, you know, it, it's just so uncertain. I mean, that's the thing is like, it's unprecedented. It's uncertain. Yeah. It's like people are. And, and so to be a part of something like the, the World Health Organization's Together at Home project 
is is so neat because this is such a, a massive moment in history that is going to be read about in, in history books yeah, like it's forever. just crazy mm-hmm. to be a part of that time and and to contribute what i can to to that kind of um that kind of movement is is insane um yeah so yeah it's awesome for sure i uh i talked to uh jewel earlier this week about performing to funk she's been doing a lot of concerts at home as well raising mm. awareness for certain stuff I'm curious to get your perspective as an artist who's been recording music on their phone and posting it online for a while. Do, do mm-hmm. these performances feel a little different than in the past? Or do they just kind of feel the same? Because it's still you in a room just having yeah, a I mean, moment with your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it is still me in a room. Um, but, I, you know, I think people, I think this sounds so cheesy, but I, I truly have learned through, through this, that art really can be therapeutic. Mm-hmm. Um, it like good art it truly is therapy. Um, and I think a lot of people need therapy right now. Like I'm having yeah. to do therapy over the phone, which is yeah. still, uh, great. It's, it's not the best, but, but like people really need that, that connection. Like I was saying, they crave that. And so, um, in, in a way it feels the same, but it's, it's, um, you can definitely feel the energy of like, yeah, you know, it being, it being different, I guess. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's cheesy, man. I mean, like, honestly, make no bones about it. Like, we know uh, as people putting on this show and doing these things, at the end of the day, what matters is, like, you're healthy, you're safe. People are being mm. safe and being healthy. But the, the whole reason we decided to keep doing the show and do it remotely is because all of this art, it's what everyone's turning to. It's what they're consuming, and, and mm-hmm. everyone's talking about it. And so just to be a part of that conversation, at the end of the day, yeah, what matters is everyone's safe and important. Uh, but it's not a cheesy thing. I think the art is helping a lot of people get through a lot of shows, mm-hmm. a lot of music right now, for sure. Uh, I got to oh. say congratulations again, man, not only for the new music today, but uh, it was recently announced that you signed a, a freaking record deal with one records, man. That's amazing. Good for you, dude. That's got to <laughs> be a great feeling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it was um, it was insane. That, that's actually an interesting story that I haven't really told anybody is um, – I was trying to release my song back in November, this song. I was like ready to go. I had no label. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it myself. So I recorded the song. I did it all. We, I got a mixer and master and I just got it all done. And I was like, I, screw it. I, I got my friend to do the photo shoot. That photo is from my, my buddy who's like just incredible. Um, I was like, look, man, I, 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 I can give you what I can give you. Like, let's just yeah. you know figure it out. So I was like, let's get this thing going. And then... Warner came into the picture and we were like, oh, maybe, maybe we don't have to do this all right now. Maybe we can take a beat and get our things in order. So um, that pushed the, the release back a little bit while we like figured out that whole situation. But, um, but they came in at just the right time. It, it was, yeah. it was pretty perfect. Um, and the team over there is like just incredible. It's so nice to have a team I can trust with my career and my mm-hmm. music and, and they totally get it. And there's, it, it, it's a really cool position to be in. So sorry about that. Are we back? <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. You were saying it's that a cool position that. to be in. Um, it, it is a it's a cool position to be in because the timing of it all, I feel like I'm in a different position than a lot of newer artists where I have kind of this mutual respect with the label and they see me mm-hmm. a little bit more as an established artist, even though I've never yeah. had any music out. So it's nice to have that relationship and and the equal respect it's it's wild that you bring that up because one of the things that i was like uh uh, not drawn to or like interested in i I was reading a a a thing about this a release and the Mm -hmm. a&r guy at warner nate i think his name was he had said in an interview that he was blown away by how developed you were calling you the triple threat that you're writing producing performing and and i thought it was so cool to hear that dude's perspective and like you know you're all right so you star in a show on disney that's a life goal you've done that but like we'll put that aside for a second that that meeting (laughs) is the one as a musician, that's the meeting that you're training for and preparing for your whole life, right? So what right. was it like in that room? Were you nervous? Could you feel the vibe? Could you tell this Nate guy was like impressed with you? What, what was it like from your side of the story? Like, did you yeah, know you yeah. were crushing it? Like, <laughs> no, no. So, so I don't know. It, it, you know, I, I had my fair share of like, I, I met with a couple people and, and it was just like not quite vibing. Yeah. And so I had been through that a few times. Um, and, and so when I went in to meet with them, I was kind of, I, I was already a little bit jaded and just like, mm-hmm. okay, like, let's see how this goes. Like, I, I didn't get my hopes up too much because, yeah. you know, it's like, you never know. And I sat down and immediately like Nate Albert is, is, is not only just a brilliant A&R mind, but he's such a genuinely wonderful person. And I could immediately, like, I was immediately put at ease by even yeah. just his voice and like who he is. And, and he made it so welcoming and so 
awesome versus versus a lot of times they'll try to intimidate you and be cold like a lot of executives right. in the music world but he was very like warm and welcoming and and it just i immediately felt at home there like i immediately felt a sense of like belonging and and freedom to really be who i am and so so that kind of over rode any kind of fear or anxiety obviously i was still a little nervous of course um of course. but big you know it yeah 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 <laughs> but but yeah he he made me feel very much at home and and whatnot and and he had he held my hand through the whole process like when we went mm. to meet with tom course and the coo and aaron the ceo like he he would always like see me five minutes before and just kind of prep me and be like yo how are you feeling like do you feel good what right, are you concerned right. about this is who you know so it was really nice to feel like you had someone on your team who was yeah. uh, really believed in me. And and he actually showed interest before the show aired, which I thought was um, was was one of the main things that made me really, really drew, drew me to. Got it. it. So talk. he saw it before, because we'll, we'll get to that in a second, uh, before all that. But he, he saw you as an artist, and that was really exciting for you. You're like, okay, this dude knows... There's Joshua. He doesn't know Ricky. He knows me and like my music and what I do. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That that's the thing is like I think a lot of people, it's it's easy like when something starts kind of taking off to to be like, oh, we you know, look at it as like a business thing and be like, mm -hmm. oh, if he's taking up here, then let's try and, you know, versus him, he he was totally the other way around. He yeah. he was like, Look, this high school musical stuff is awesome, but I'm more worried about you as an artist. Like I'm more worried about the music and, and the art and how we can right, take right, that. Right to the level that it, it, it can be at. And I, and that's that's why he's one of the greats. He's that's amazing. That's super awesome, man. Uh, so I mentioned it earlier. Let's get to it. So why uh, this track is the first one. I think fans have been following you. They know, like, I'm still in love with you. They know uh, Do It All Again. I think Sorry was another one. Why was yeah. Common Sense, with all the songs that you have in, 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 the, in the locker, in the back pocket, ready to go, why was that one the one for you to, like, that's the one I want to put out? Yeah, I mean, it, it, that tends to be... Uh, well, first of all, that song means a lot to me and, and mm -hmm. writing that song was insane. And I think I mentioned it in the article you were referencing earlier, but it was kind of like, it just hit me. It was one of those songs that like, I was literally driving and it just came to me and I was like, oh my, it's brilliant. And, and I just like, I record, I couldn't keep up with myself. It was yeah. as if the song was already written and I was just like trying to get it out. And then I pulled over in a Westfield, you know, parking lot and in my car, just pulled out my guitar and, and finished the song. And it was like, whoa it was insane wow. and a lot of times i would like show people some of my songs and they would always be like oh, what was that common sense one go back to that one and and again it was my first original song that i posted on instagram and it just felt like the right it just felt right like it was like the first moment song. yeah yeah totally right. full circle is, is the best way to put it yeah um fun little fact i don't know if anyone uh caught this the first time around i saw a few people actually on twitter tweeting about this but i um right before we sent in this song to get remixed and mastered i mm -hmm. I listened to my Instagram version again, and I was like, those birds sound sick. There's birds in the background while I'm playing. And I was like, that sounds really great. So as a little bit of a nugget, I I, I actually had to re-download that song from my Instagram, rip it illegally off of my Instagram, um, <laughs> get the audio, put it into my music program, oh my and, and cut down just to where the birds are. I put them in twice in the first like 15-ish seconds of the song. Um, and so if you go back, you can hear the birds, and that's from the Instagram page. That's a little callback to all the OG people who were there from, from the start. I thought that's that was a little fun. awesome. That is so <laughs> much fun when you can put little, like, Easter eggs like that in your own right. stuff, man. That's pretty amazing. Um, you know, with someone who has so many songs written, what is uh, – how do you see this in your head? Like, do you already know, like, what the track list for your first album is going to be? Are you still figuring all that sort of stuff out? You feel – like, with so much stuff written, I feel like you have a lot of these, like, plans in your head that you had for years. Like, you've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, I, ha I have a lot of plans in my head. I have a lot mm -hmm. of ideas. I'm always, like, thinking ahead. And, you know, I, I think th the most important thing to me is being as true to myself as, as possible. And I think yeah. the people who have – who have enjoyed my music so far, it would feel, it would, it would feel, um, f d disingenuous, I guess, to, to make my music anything other than what it is. And that's why I think, uh, common sense is a perfect example of how I took what the song is and just slightly elevated it to, to kind of, you know, bring it up just a notch, um, right. but still keep it true to its core. And I think that's my favorite thing about songwriting is like, you can do all the production, you can do all this stuff, but you strip it away and and is the song good? Is the, right. is is the meat of it? Right. Yeah. And so if, if you do have that, then you can dress it up if you want, 
But um, my goal is to just take like the songs that I already have and elevate them to a point um, where I can still have my artistic like input on that, but where it still feels true to the song and not mm -hmm. like I'm putting on this front and being someone who I'm not because that just wouldn't be, yeah, that's just not authentic. And, and the goal is to be as me as possible. Um, and I think, I hope that that resonates with people. So, you know, For sure, man. we're well, figuring uh, it out. Congrats again on the song. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes left before we get out of here. Uh, I got some more stuff that I wanted to ask you, but uh, congrats on this song. And, and it is, it's a, it's a super chill track and I think it's kind of perfect listening right now. Mm. Uh, and, and it's a, it's kind of a perfect song for this moment in time. I think a lot of people can use something pretty chill to listen to right now. Thanks, um, so I'm excited that. for more music from you, dude. You know, uh, so before we get out of here, when you and I last spoke, it was days away from the official launch of the Disney right. Plus show, of High School Musical. We got to talk before it came out. What has that ride been like, watching this thing drop and just watching so much love and support uh, for you guys and for this show? What, what was that experience like? Sum it up, man. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so not real life. Like, it's yeah. so bizarre. It feels so, like, I, I, I do stay off social media a lot of the time, and a lot of people who follow me know that. They don't love that, but... um. I, it's just, it's like, in a way, it's totally me up there, but it's yeah. not me. It's this weird right. thing. But I think, I think the first time it really set in for me and my co-star Olivia, like the first time it really like hit us, we went to Atlanta for the junior theater festival. It was 7,000 theater kids. And we got to sing wow. um, the, one of the songs uh, from the show. And then an original song that mm -hmm. Olivia and I wrote, um, and so going out there and performing an original song, just me, the guitar, and Olivia in front of 7,000 screaming, it was like the most insane thing. Um, that was like a pinch me like, whoa, because that was like what a real world that, yeah. thing. It was like, what is happening right now? Like, yeah. that was insane. Um, was that 7,000 people, to the, sorry to cut you off, but I'm just curious, at that moment in time, was that one of the larger crowds you've played for or played in front the of 7,000? The largest, yeah. Oh, so yeah. that's that's wild. You're never gonna forget that moment in time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. No. I, yeah. I, I'm not forgetting that. It was um, it was pretty surreal. It's it's also been really fun to kind of see the the reactions to things on mm -hmm. um on just like Twitter and stuff. Just because like we lived with the show for so many months, and so sure. and we fell in love with the show like over and over again. Every script we got, we'd be like, oh, this scene is great, or this and this. And so you know, it it took like I don't know seven eight months from the wow. first set of filming for the show to come out. Maybe even longer than that. Yeah, it might have been like ten months since we started. Almost um, a year. Anyways, yeah, yeah, almost a year. So seeing people's reaction was like a nice refresher of like, oh my gosh, it's like, like kind of like living it for the first time again through other people in a way. Um, for sure, it was it was very fun. Yeah, and also it's like a validation. Like you fall in love with it, but you also don't know. Like you're so close to it, and you're making that thing. So it's right. easy for you to kind of fall in love with it. And then to see everyone else fall in love with it, you're like, all right, we're not crazy. This is, this totally. is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing that was like, uh, Olivia wrote all I want for episode four. And um, she, I, I, I don't know the order of who she showed it to, but I believe mm -hmm. I heard one of the, I was one of the first people to hear it. Like she yeah. showed her mom and then she showed me. And I remember her saying something, I'm kind of exposing her now, but she said something like, oh God, it's, I'm just, it's terrible. I'm going to start from scratch. And I was like, what are you talking about? You're going to start from scratch. I was like, no, this is, this is perfect. I was like, what are you talking This is incredible. I was like blown away. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, I'm telling you right now, this yeah. is incredible. And of course it's like the number one song of the show. It's like a massive hit. I'm like, of course it's a massive yeah. hit. I knew that from the time you played it. I can't imagine a world in which she was like, eh, I'm going to start from scratch. And just gone. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure she would have written another incredible song, but, but, I knew right then and there. So, so stuff like that, like I knew with other people's stuff, I was like that, I, I can totally see people resonating that yeah. resonating with people. And, and yeah, and sure enough, it's there awesome. it was uh, last thing before we get out of here, uh, you guys, nobody's surprised by the existence of a season two, uh, but keep me honest, mm -hmm. you started work on it, but then uh, everything happened. You guys had to shut down, right? Is that what right. happened? Yeah. yeah so correct. obviously you can't, I'm not asking for spoilers. I'm not asking for anything like that. <laughs> But can like how far along were you guys? Did you get? Were you filming? Did you, were you just in rehearsals? Were you just reading stuff? Do you know if you could even say that? I don't want to get you in trouble. I, was just I don't know if I could say that. I, I I think it's relatively public knowledge that we had started filming. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we we uh, a couple episodes in, um, and all I can say is every day on set was a pinch me moment. 
Really? Oh, it was man. just so exciting because, you know, the first season, we, we weren't sure what the show was. We have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. We're all kind of like figuring it out as we go. We don't even know. We, ha- we even like we filmed different versions. Like in the first episode, they had us do things a couple different ways because they weren't even sure how they were going to edit it together and how it was going to oh, look. Wow. So we were still figuring out like the pacing and, and the tone and, and all that. Yeah, and so yeah. and so while we did have fun and it was very exciting, we still had there was a lot of learning um mm-hmm. in in the first season so then having the first season under your belt um knowing that it's uh, mostly well received being able to go back into a season two like in the groove knowing what the show is and even just like the writers being able to know the show and and now the writers room is filled with people who are mega fans of the show which is just yeah. so awesome like it's people who love it and so, so cool. we're able to take things to another level because we're all like in the groove and it's just so it's so exciting and yeah. i think I think people are, are really gonna love it. Um, I know I did, and last season I loved every second of it, and clearly that did well. So that worked I, out. I hope that that <laughs> worked out this season. Yeah, yeah. it's a good sign, <laughs> man. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna let you go. I know you got to get ready. You got a bunch of other stuff you got to do. But uh, one, sincerely, thank you for taking some time to hang out and chat with me again, man. It's always it's always awesome to talk to you. Uh, I'm super happy that you're safe and you're healthy and your family's doing well and everybody's doing all right. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep writing music. Uh, I'll remind everybody out there, Common Sense is, is widely available. It's out today. If you haven't listened to it already, I don't, I don't know why you're watching this. Go listen to that song <laughs> right now. Uh, and keep an eye out and an ear out for more music. Anything else you want to tell anybody before we get out of here, man? Um, I don't know. Stay safe and, and practice social distancing. That's it. <laughs> it's That's really it. important right now. It's all you can do, but it matters. Every little yeah. person can help. Awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, I appreciate it so you, much. Dude. Fingers crossed. This will all blow over, and then that record comes out. You come to New York again, and we'll hang out and do this again. Sounds right? great. I'm looking awesome, forward man. to it, man. Thanks so much. <laughs> right, everybody, wherever you are, make noise for Joshua. Thanks, dude. Hey, have a good one. Peace. 